Hi and welcome back to Decisive Campaigns Arden Offensive. This is me playing Wacht am Rhein, the big campaign over 64 turns. We are currently at the round 52 or, or turn 52 out of 64. So we're really at the end of things. We have just moved into the 29th of December uh, at 100 hours and we uh, are going to play all of the 29th, all of the 30th and all of the 31st. So we only have three days left in this campaign. All in all, strategic map wise, we are doing fantastic. We are pushing past Liege and past all of the Meuse River, which we have already taken. We still have no more to take Givy and Dinan also as objectives. But besides that, we're really just pushing west here. And as you can see, we are we have all of this region here. We still have a little bit of the bulge over here that we are trying to take care of. But besides that, we are really moving up here towards northwest with the 7th Army. And also even we are actually down past and have taken um, oh, what's it called? Let me have a look here. We have taken Sedan even. So that's pretty cool, actually. We're going to take a look at the night turn now. And the only thing I want to take and uh, or move is really, I'd say, weak units that, that uh, could move. So I don't know about this one. I could move this one, but he could really rest. Doesn't really matter. These ones should really rest. It's really um, artillery pieces that, but these guys also have to rest. So. I really have moved almost all of our artillery pieces quite fast because they've been so far away from the front. So there's really nothing I can move. It, it would have to be something I could fire, for example. But with it, like this guy, for example, he could definitely fire. But the limited 15 in recon, it's going to be very, very difficult to actually succeed. So. This one is probably going to just simply move, I believe. In here, I have, I don't think I have anything. So I think it's free to move, really. So let me have a look at this one for its OOB here. He belongs to, okay, he belongs really to the left, uh, to the western flank, rather. So I'm going to move him in that direction, really. So let's do that. And this one has moved quite a lot. Let me have a look if there's anything I don't believe. So this one is also same thing. He should be in the Western front rather. So, but he should really rest as well. So yeah, let's do that. Rest, rest, rest. This one can not fire. These guys cannot. They should all rest here over here. So that's it. This one could move if we needed to. Let me see where he belongs to. This guy, yeah, he's on the right flank, really. So he's doing good. It's not really necessary to move, I'd say. So let's not move simply. What else we have here? There's no need there. These guys really can't fire because they have fired. This one could move. Yeah, why not then? Let's move this one forward then. It's fine. Be closer to these guys also. These guys are just going to rest here. So we did have, we have this one here. So plopping down something in, setting down a Kampfgruppe in Cypri would be nice to protect Bastogne. Let's do that straight away here. Go for a camp group over here in Cibri over here. And let's play that card right there. That's it. We do have one over here now, which is nice. What else? Um, we have cars. We have 58 points. We could save to go for some supply, but we know that we have supplies quite nice. So let's just go for these replacement cards simply. So 
so two panthers is nice. Two panthers again is nice. We'll have what twenty six or ten points left, I think. And two panthers again, fantastic. We have ten points left. Fine. So that's good. And uh, nothing else we want to move here. We can't really see here, so it's difficult to move around here, I believe. So this one is indicative of the unit over here trying to move across here. So, uh, and so that means that this one has actually been cut. Actually, I believe. Let's have a look at the supply. Uh, seems like it, but maybe not completely cut. So let's see here. Yeah, so we have the stone over here. So there, it's been cut over here um, and cut over there. So these guys are getting their supply from where? From somewhere else. But in this case, it's nice. I believe that may, I don't know if it contributes the Liege one, but, but still it's yellow all around here. So it's not a big problem at all, not really. All right, let's move it down again and see if there's any like any kind of artillery. This one could move, but I don't think he'll do that. He, he's going to rest. I'll move him. Go. You can't really move uh, very fast during the night turn. These ones can fire, which is interesting. But let's see here, this one is 19. That's terrible. That all we've got? I believe so. And this one is a tank unit, I believe. We can't see anything else. This one we can see he's actually kind of weak. And we have this guy here. 36. Let's see if we can actually fire something at all here from here. Probably let's see here 93, 95. They're all fine. So they could definitely try and hit with ranged. We have 10 SS. Like these 74s, for example, let's go for this attack. Okay, I guess not. Let's keep on trying to hit this guy here. 130th. Yeah, why not? Let's try that. Come on then, there you go. Thank you. Destroyed. Okay. Do they still have this one? That's a bit weird. Do we go 10? No, these ones we don't want to fire. I don't know about this one, perhaps. Let me have a look at this one. I'm not sure what it looks like. Yeah, in terms of redness, it's fine. And he's sitting by the 130th, so that's fine. An attack. Yeah, I guess he there's nothing there, so that was a bit of a waste. But he should not be there, though. That's really strange. Oh, well. Fine. So, I'm not going to move anything around here. We don't have really any targets at all. Um, Verfes are always nice to move further, but they've moved so fast anyway. So nothing really, it's really more stationary pieces we can go for that I haven't moved. This one, we're sure we could, but really rather have him rest really. This guy is difficult to see anyway. So really again, artillery, or if there is something like we could go for this attack here, but we'll do that in the morning. Maybe he's going to try and attack us again anyway. So fine like this guy here he is 24 that's decent something we could go for this is the only one we can see let's have a look so we have this one let's have a look if he actually can how how he's doing in terms of health here 86 no we're not gonna fire that guy and that's it really that's it for me there is nothing else that I want to 
do. So with that, let's go and take a look at the enemy movements during the night turn. So I'm looking forward to the morning movement really after this. But it's also going to be interesting to see what happens here. So there they try again and they lose almost all of it in Onden. They try to hit me there, they lose a little bit in Cell. San Hubert, they try to break free there, they lose nothing, but they don't have any tanks. There they lost one half track. And there, I guess they probably lost something there as well. Yes, indeed. They're moving away there, which is good for us. There they tried to hit me. Probably not a good idea. They're using tanks, however, there. So we'll see. Yeah, and then they move actually way down south. Sit down over there. This is west of the Meuse River, quite close to Dinan, as we can see. They move away from this hill top over here, as expected. This one really shouldn't be there, I believe. Maybe we had false information, who knows? This is Palisola in the south. Let's go to the mini here. This is in the north northwestern sector over here. Mm, I can't see anything. Did we get hit down in the south? from the northern side, which is unexpected. That's fine. They try to hit us over here by Ivoire. I don't think these are tanks, but they have more tanks coming in here. Get hit there, that should be fine. It says Borin over here. But I don't know if that's underneath is strong. Fortieth step, Falwa and attack. They lose forty. We lose nothing. This is the Muse. This is Onden over here. Namu over here. They have still cut me off here. It seems. And they seem to be leaving there. So maybe this one is open now. We'll see. At Borin, would they hit me with artillery? Then they hit me here. Now they're almost completely gone. They hit me somewhere around here and that's the end of turn. That was also most likely a divisional HQ. Okay. And as always, we're going to take a look at weather and VPs. We know for a fact that we're going to see a lot of mist coming in here during this uh, day and most of, if not all, of the next day. So we have three days left. So we'll have mist and mist, most likely, with very limited visibility. And then for the last day, I don't know what we have. But we'll see that during this next day. Weather-wise, we can see, as I said, mist, 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 mist. So that's what it looks like. We have 291 VPs on the map. We have another 40, 54 uh, due to allied casualties. That gives us 345 VPs in total. We need only 200 for a major victory, so this is a crushing victory. And we're coming up on January 1st, 1945 at midnight. That's when the winner is determined. Let's take a look at kill ratio then. We have lost all in all almost 30,000 units here, or troop points. We uh, divide that by their 161,000. 253 and that will give us a 5.50 or 5.51 actually to one so for every german they kill i kill 5.5 that's nice we get another comfort group back which is nice so let's uh, take a look at as we always do cards and stats cards there is nothing uh, different we can 
still deploy a new comf group if we need to. Rear area of all wise, we're not going to go for fuel. These replacements are more expensive now, of course. Air support is reduced, but still available. And then we have the depots. Let's take a look at stats. We always want to increase this one. And as you can see, we have increased a little bit here due to our um, replacement cards that we added and they have continued losing. They're now under 50,000 troop points. So that's really, really nice. And we have more than 150. We're moving towards 170 something even. And uh, casualties, we have a steep slope here compared to theirs. Regime statistics, let's take a look at supply and fuel. The supply situation is as follows. Looking at the white one here received from off map, that is what we receive every turn from Germany. And we, we receive basically 60,000 supply units. Sent to our units is also actually less than 60,000. So all in all, we have a fairly high de high number or average number of supply source stocks, which means all the supply bases, what kind of, or not all supply bases, but the supply bases where we can actually take from, we uh, have this number 44,000, which is nice. This is our buffer basically. Down here, we, are, we keep on supplying uh, and building up supply bases here, which is going to make it more easy for us or easier for us when it comes to the supply network. Let's take a look at the supply when it comes to our units. <clears throat> we have fairly high degree uh, supply uh, situation for our units here. It's still high, I would say. We can see also that we requested something around 78,000. We only got 59,000. So that's what they asked for. That's what they received. And no, no, nothing from that we received from supply bases because we did not tap into that. Let's take a look at the more difficult situation here when it comes to fuel. As you can see, we have no fuel in our supply source stocks at the moment here. We get uh, each turn 40,000 from Germany. We supply our germ, uh, German units with exactly 40,000 units, basically, of supply because everything we get in, we supply to our units. Unit supply, sorry, unit fuel. As you can see, it's going down. Actually, now it was an uptick here thanks to uh, us not moving during the night turn. So you can see that when you don't move, you actually increase your internal supplies, of course, because well, you don't use anymore. This is what we requested a little bit lower than uh, the 130 or 40,000 we asked for last time. Now only 112, but really that is a lot. We always get 40,000 um, basically from supply sources. And this is basically from Germany, straight from Germany basically that goes into our supplies stocks and then gets sent out straight away asking received and that's really it for fuel so the fuel situation internal stocks internal fuel stocks here looks a little bit better but still it's going to go down basically so that's it let's take a look at their movement in a little bit close up we only have 47 steps here so we have up by on den uh, by the muse river let's have a look at that one up quite close to namu over here to the left side here we have a divisional hq that tries to attack us here he has been trying to attack and break free here but to no avail we can see that he's quickly losing staff members here and others as well here. We suffer no losses here. In here, we have uh, armor division moving away or actually moving closer, I believe. If this is Namu over here. We have some kind of uh, unknown unit moving away here. I can't remember what it was. We have a tank unit moving back in here together with the armored infantry, unfortunately. Here's a cell over here. They try to hit us from the side. I don't remember what kind of unit, but we can have a look here. It seems to me as if this one is a weak one and some kind of anti-tank unit, I believe. Lost a couple of half-tracks in a pilot. 
and we lost lost nothing there. Asenoa, we have one leaving there. We are down in the south here. This is where we are surrounded a bit. This is where they have left. So that was a strong unit, about 57 or something that it seems to be moving out. This is Hanubao over here. I don't know what that unit is. It's an unknown unit, that's it. They actually try to hit us over here. They lose nothing, I lose nothing. This seems to have been most likely like a armored unit, probably a tank or something, but now they've shed their tanks and it's just rear area units. If we can go for artillery around here, that'd be nice. We do have some Verfus, but they're over here, so a little bit far away, but so I probably not needed to bring them. We got that. We get a hit right there from the 9S on the 9SS from underneath here. Doesn't hurt us. Uh, seems to me as if that's a weak AT gun. I don't know. Nothing to be worried about. This is Massin here in the south middle. Saint Hubert is over there. We have Libramont over here, Neuve Chateau further down. So we had had we had some shuffling around here, moving in this direction really. But um, yeah, he's sitting in La Bain there in a nice way, and he moves away and keeps him moving away. In here, this is a cell. This is a very strong crossroad unit right there. We have a bunch of artillery units in here, a bunch, but only artillery. So it's a bit scary really, but having so many here, it makes it fairly strong. So they tried to attack us here. We had a unit moving down this road down here in here I guess so they attack us from here and they attack us with a rather weak unit there as we can see here some kind of cavalry unit it seems and nothing happens really then we have here this unit that was sitting in here I believe he's moving out this is uh, towards Bastogne and this one is the very very important Orthoville Champlon and Terreville, Terreville something like that and uh, this is the road up to the northern sector. So this is a supply line that's very important to keep up. Unfortunately, that's bad and he moves away, that's good. This is a tank unit. And if you remember, that's a tank unit, that's a tank unit. This is uh, Sineo down here. And we were able to envelop this tank unit here. We saw during the last time when they uh, did this quite fast, He's hitting this guy here, and as we can see, they lose seven Cromwells, two stewards and one Firefly will lose nothing. And then they go down like that, which makes it easier for us, I believe, slightly. We have Sedan over here, so we have the unit over there, and he seems to be moving up, I believe. We have one unit here, I believe it could have been, I believe it, this one was, um, one of these speed bumps uh, simply moves away. Auchan, Massin, Debramo over here. We had a unit sitting here for the longest time. He seems fairly strong. He seems to move away. We have Dinan over here. This is Sini over here. He was sitting down there on this ledge over here. <clears throat> Rather weak units actually. And they seem to be moving away. Up here is where we were surrounded, or down here rather, southwest 7A over here with two 12s and so on. And I um, don't know, we'll see better in the morning. In here we have, um, in the northern sector, we have Namura over here, we have Uvoa over here, we have um, tank unit right there, we had a tank unit in here, and he seems to be moving away. Then we get hit by Sedan over here the northern sector so maybe this unit that was sitting here maybe moved in here and then tried to attack like that could be uh, they lose some we lose nothing we have a unit in here this is the Meuse River that's Nemo over here they are um, attacking no, not attacking but just sitting there and they leave which is good for us this is Ivoire over here we have Dinan to the south we have Sini up here we have a tank unit there. We had a tank unit there moved. We have had a tank unit there that moved down there. 
then we have a new one showing up that attacks us. And as we can see, it's a cavalry unit pretty much. We suffer no losses, but he does. Yet another one shows up there. That's it. In here, we have Borin over here. We had a tank unit sitting there. He seems to be leaving. And we have an engineering unit or maybe an unknown unit underneath here, actually. Uh, probably could be the tank unit that disappears and then attacks the engineering, the lonely engineering unit does. But look, would you look at that? Huh? Engineering unit, still one there for whatever reason. Engineering losing one fourth, basically, of whatever they had there. We suffer no losses. We have an attack on Borin over here from the side here where we have probably the tank unit trying to push on through here. We suffer no losses. They lose three Sherman tanks. They attack Falois as well with some Paris and they lose basically one fourth. We suffer no losses there. So it's really looking good containing them and it's difficult for them. This is also again on this one, uh, on this uh, big uh, Bicini, this uh, hill over here. We have an armored infantry battalion moving, coming up another one there. He moves back there, moves away. Borin gets hit by artillery, no losses. Then we have this one that almost draws his final breath. Really, there's almost nothing left here. A couple of staff members, but that does not work. It's a silly attack, really. We have no chateau over here. I believe we had a staff, an HQ over here as well, division HQ. Should move up north, of course, but he keeps on attacking, just killing himself basically on on this stack here. We have Vinalmont here up all the way in the north. They empty this final hex over there. And then they attack down here with this um speed bump basically and they lose quite a lot we lose nothing here and that's really it interesting so they actually have two units there that's interesting let's take a closer look during the morning when we actually can see a little bit here we actually can't see anything here there should be someone in there could be definitely someone in Don Chari. I'm not sure um, we did see a lot of units up here by 7A. We still see a couple of units over here. It's difficult for us to do anything here but to actually put set up a defensive position. To attack these guys is not gonna work, I believe. As you can see here, it's not enough here. Artillery would be nice on these guys, of course, but we have 421 and recon. As we can see here when it comes to oh actually we do see a lot better than I th previously thought when it comes to this. Ah, oh, it's a light precipitation, actually. It's not mist, is it? Okay, so this turn is light precipitation, not mist. That's good. And uh, we had someone sitting in Asenois, but they have moved away. So it's we're free to move up towards Palisol here, and we'll see if we can attack whatever unit was sitting there. Uh, what else? Uh, we do have Team Allen still here. Uh, difficult to attack, I was going to say here, definitely. But uh, we do have other units also here that can probably join in the attack. Um, in here, we haven't seen much here. We have seen that they try to move past here. This attack is actually possible. Then we have Team Cook there. It's difficult, but we could move these guys in here and then possibly attack attack I believe so that's 47 out of 89 so that's good although he's at 86 already okay 85 right there so yeah they're a bit weak but we'll see and uh yeah and we I guess we're gonna move in here and just push basically somewhere around here we do have some movement around here we'll see what that is this one has to be removed because you can see the bulge here is cutting our supply lines here so we'll move closer to that and try and attack over here we have this one we need to pull this one back and see what it is but actually we also have to take care of this team thompson most likely should not be a problem really but we'll take a look at that we also have 
Günther uh, Kampfgruppe Günther that might be used. And in here it's kind of nice. As we can see, that's a former tank unit right there by Saint Hubert. It's just, it's just rear area units now. So these are fairly easy units to kill off. This one is interesting. Let's see if we can take care of that guy also. Oh, we do have artillery here. That's beautiful. That is really nice. So this one is prime target, of course. And even just attacking like this is good enough, really. So yeah, nice. This one is actually on a ledge. So be nice to see this one. Maybe go for a card here to see all of these three. A lot better. We'll see. This is Laban. We have some movement over there. Just going to move down here. That's weird. Where did they come from, really? I don't understand that because. Okay, maybe in like that, then I guess. Okay, so we need to take Mirmar, Mirvar over here. Hopefully that's going to be enough. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. It's not that strong either, so. All right, so we do have our work cut up for us. And we'll move this one down there. This one, I guess, down somewhere around here or just stay there for a while. Oh, we actually do have three units. One here, one there, one over there, probably. And then just move these guys further up here. We do have one unit here in Bois, one over there, and two over here, actually, Ford. So going for artillery against this one would be nice. We also have these two that are rather weak. So that's almost possible, but we do have others that can join in here, which is nice. Two tank units also. I believe we have a tank unit there, but I'm not sure. There you go. There's your tank unit, Team Ford. Besides that, we do have a couple of units in here. Uh, it's difficult to do anything about them. We could go with these guys, perhaps, and move down here. We'll see what happens, really. These guys over here should be able to hit these guys. This one is fairly strong, so that one is gone for sure. And this one is also probably gone as well. And this one is also gone right there. So it's... a, a about cleaning up this one before moving towards Dinan, really, I believe. And then we have a couple of units over here as well, um, which we should be able to take care of as well here, as we can see. We could, yeah, looks quite good. This one is, of course, gone. Definitely be easy to pick up like that. And then we can move these ones and attack this guy over here. By Sini over here, we have movements. We have actually, interesting, 29th Armored Brigade sitting around here. So that's interesting. Unfortunately, it's so difficult to take a look at the Allied reinforcements because brigades are not indicated here. I believe that's the 29th. There is no 29th Brigade here. And I don't know if these ones are at all in here. Um, and um, you can't really tell from the Allied OB here either about these ones. There's nothing here indicating 29th Brigade. It's a division, so I don't know if the brigades are part of the, the divisions um, so or not. That's where my knowledge ends a bit there. So still have some things to learn see here we can go for a card here later on which is nice but still they are fairly strong here so if we could go for artillery here it would be nice maybe the Verfus would be nice to drive up here and attack with I believe so because this tank here is going to be taking care of these tanks over here so that's nice up here, we do have some movement around here. We're just going to move down here and explore. We have units here that we just drive towards Namur, I guess. So that's very nice. But we also have to use these guys to move over here. Maybe there's someone in here. It seems like it. So we'll have to explore that to see 
what's inside there if possible if there is someone there and in here just keep on driving here try and see what's in here if anyone is in Met uh, misery this guy is gone for obvious reasons He's just killing this guy off like that and um yeah we haven't lost anything really then just simply move towards the west here up here what do we have here an unknown unit there we have an unknown unit there we simply need to probe here and see what it is i, I think untate is totally free i believe but we don't know but we'll take care of that Vinalmol, kind of the same thing there as well we should definitely be able to take a look at that uh then simply move over here then we have these units up there in fields of snow actually it seems is that so no gear exactly so we'll move forward here and attack with um whatever units we have around here this one can probably not cut things off here but possibly we'll see how he does it could also be units sitting over here as well not there but here for example so so but we'll take a closer look besides that there is nothing really to speak of i believe here we have 80 points now which is nice and we'll be able to play cards such as kampfgub if needed replacements if we want to so that'd be uh, all in all 80 points almost quite close to 77 points at least so that's gonna be nice we do have reduced but that's not really that important so i think i'm gonna go for simply replacements and then go for this kampfgub simply and that's it so with that i believe uh, i'll see you in the next episode all right take care now bye